Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com. I'm here with a haircut. Uh, one of my favorite things to do for you guys. I did the as an asymmetrical uh, graduated bob. Some of it's graduated, some of it's layered. We had a lot of fun. Did a lot of different techniques in this haircut. So I think you're gonna get a lot out of it. And uh, this may not be what your guests are begging you for, but you can use every technique within this step-by-step -step to use this haircut in some form on your guests if they're looking for a graduation. Uh, this haircut is great for curly hair as well. I know a lot of you guys ask that question. I don't have curly hair mannequins, so you're gonna have to deal with the straight hair. Plus, you can see the lines really well in the straight hair. Um, but I, again, love this haircut. It's got a nice soft, uh, oops, wrong way, <laughs> subtle bang in there. Uh, nice disconnection. It's nice and light where we go through and we layer uh, the side. And then also you can see how it kind of starts off with a nice line in the back and then drops off uh, on this side. And then on the opposite side, we get a really nice round graduation here. Uh, really, the technique is cool. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, so if you guys have any questions, make sure you ask them in the comments below. I will be checking those and uh, hit the like button, hit the share button, share it with all of your hairdresser friends so that we can spread the word, uh, but check out freesaloneducation.com and let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start off the haircut by parting on the right side of the mannequin head. So um, if your guest had a different side parting, you would just start there. Um, so if they're on the left side, start on the left side. If they're in the center, start in the center. Uh, obviously with an asymmetrical haircut, we're probably not starting in the center. You'll notice as I went down, I didn't go down center back. I stayed to the right. So basically directly from that parting, I went straight down the right side, uh, leaving only about an inch and a half of hair um, to the right side of the parting. And then the rest of the head of hair is completely on the left. Then I took a section a little bit above the occipital bone, uh, diagonal forward section, and just split the front and the back um, up that way. You can see that section above the occipital bone a little bit better on this side, and you can see the difference in the density, how much hair I took on the right side compared to the left side. So uh, that's pretty much the sectioning, really simple. Um, you'll see here, there's a couple things I did in this haircut where I changed my mind. So uh, it started off with the hair a little bit shorter, uh, decided to go right along the neck, cut a straight horizontal square line in the back. Um, Cause I really wanted a solid shape in the back and I wanted a structure that would help hold up. Um, so more of a horizontal sectioning is gonna build a strong base. So I start off the, the haircut with a slight elevation uh, cutting horizontal and just really focusing on the shape of the haircut. And, uh, and I think also for me, when you start a graduation on the bottom, when you work vertically, um, it's a lot harder to get your hand comfortable. So I think working horizontally until you're above that occipital bone, um, just works really well. So definitely give that a shot if you guys haven't tried that when you're cutting a bob yet. Now just working with a, about an inch of new hair and now I'm gonna start vertical. So you can see how comfortable and how easy my hand fits now um, underneath the head. And that's really, you know, the benefit of cutting horizontal at the beginning is just being comfortable. And uh, I talk about this a lot, but within haircutting, the, the best way to be successful in haircutting is to be comfortable. Uh, that's going to keep you consistent and uh, keep your haircuts good. So um, now we sped it up a little bit. Everything is coming directly back at this point, um, slightly over directed to the previous section. So you could see a uh, nice buildup of weight gets a little bit longer towards the corner. Uh, that's the goal is to start the asymmetric feel. But I think a lot of people uh, right away jump to trying to over direct too much. And when you over direct too much, what's going to happen is you're going to build up way too much weight um, too quick. And then you're, you're not going to love the feel of the haircut. Again, over directing just to the previous section. So not all the way back.
And then that last piece right there, it's just straight back over direction. That gives us a little kick of weight. You can see again how it's starting to get a little bit longer. The benefit of starting the parting over to the right hand side, and I think that that's the key part of this haircut, is when you start it that far over and you work over directing to the previous section, you get a much uh, heavier weight line uh, drawn from that parting because it has more time to build up. If you were, if you think about like waves in the ocean, if you're, if, if the wave starts right at the shore, it's not going to be, it's going to be really tiny. If it starts way back in the ocean, it's going to build up momentum and grow and become a bigger wave. I'm assuming, I actually have no idea how waves are built, but, um, it's just, uh, it's, it, the weight is building up. So you have a lot more time, uh, to build up your weight line. And I think that that's the benefit of starting further over in the haircut. Now you can see that the very top of that section is coming out at about zero degrees. I'm saying zero degrees because that top piece of hair, if you were to pull it straight out from the head, would go straight up at, at 90 degrees. So zero degrees would be straight back. Um, then the rest of the hair is coming out at about a 90 degree angle. So it's very light. Um, I built that structure at the bottom. I wanted a lot of structure, but now I want to soften the top. Too many bobs become way too heavy too quick uh, because we keep at a really low elevation. So just elevating it nice and high um, helps out with that, especially because we are over directing and building up weight. We want to have a higher elevation uh, so that it doesn't get too heavy. Now with the opposite side, there's not going to be, it's just going to be over directed straight back. Um, I'm going to connect the line but I'm gonna connect it straight. So we did build up where we had the other side kind of take a dive down uh, with the weight and that's really gonna help create our asymmetrical feel. Um, so this line will be straight across, the other one dips down. And you can see how little hair uh, I left on that side. You really don't need a lot of hair um, on the part side of the head. And this is all being pulled straight back and cut square with the back of the head. So my finger angle is parallel with the section um, and everything's being brought down to about a 45 degree angle. And I'm taking horizontal sections. You'll notice that I scoop up and I grab a little bit of the old hair, but I don't grab all of it. And that's because we're moving up the head we're building up that weight, and the more hair I grab, the more diffused my guideline becomes, and then I start cutting a new guideline, and then I get lost in my haircut. So little by little, grabbing that old hair and elevating it up. All right. That's just a good look. You can see how the weight is shifting. Now I'm going to push away some of the front of the hair because what I want to do is I want to take a, a guideline from what I just cut and then work my round shape. So really this this section is going to, going to be cut a little bit different than the rest of the haircut because I want to uh, just draw my baseline first. So connecting it with the back of the head. Barely any elevation in this whatsoever. The more elevation, the more diffused that line will be, and we want a really nice, strong line. Um, keeping my finger angle um, at the angle that I want the haircut to be. So I want it right in line with the nose. Um, I think that's going to look the best, so that's what we did. Now we're going to shift back, diagonal back section, combing the hair down. You can see through the section, that's a key part of this as well because you don't want to lose your guide. So now I'm going to hold everything out, slight elevation on this hair, uh, on this part of the haircut because I do want to have a little bit of a beveled edge, but I don't want too much elevation because I don't want to diffuse the line too much. So what I mean by diffusing the line is you know that when you elevate hair really high, it gets a really shattered line. So I want to keep this below 45 degrees to start, build a solid line so that I have that structure that you see in the uh, end result of the haircut, 
and then um, and then start to elevate it a little bit more as I work up the head. So you can see that angle. That angle is, you know, a pretty much some of it's at a zero, some of it's at a 45. I know that's kind of confusing for some people, but you really got to look at the shape of the head and where 90 degrees would be. That's all I do. So um, I know some of you guys have, have written and are confused on the, the degrees, but you have to look at um, just where 90 degrees comes out and then base your elevation off of that. What I'm doing in this part of the haircut is everything is coming out. I'm cutting it at uh, between zero and 45 degrees, keeping that weight line built up. And then in the back of the head, which we'll shift to in a second, I'm then over directing it straight back and creating more of a square feel. So all of this is coming out. I'm following the round of the head. And then in the very back, when I round that corner in the back, that's when I over direct straight back, just because I want to keep a little bit of weight sitting, which you could see sitting right behind the ear. That's the key. I didn't want to completely round off this shape. I wanted to have a little bit of a kind of a strong buildup right in the back of the head because I think it gives it a nice, um, a nice shape to the bob uh, haircut. So you could see it's got a nice little buildup. And I just love, I love cutting round graduation. It's one of my, you know, favorite things um, because I, I honestly believe that it's, probably one of the most difficult things to cut, um, in my opinion, to stay consistent with it. So this part is just fun. It's easy. We're going to do some point cutting. Everything's being elevated and over-directed straight back. So uh, stationary guide, over-directing the hair. I took a guide from, from the back of the head where I'd cut my graduation, and we based it off of that. And just taking a full-on... Um, vertical section all the way down the head and there you go over directing all the way back so I wanted to show you guys this part of it just to show you show you what it would look like curly because it's a great curly haircut as well um, I think it looks great because you're still leaving some length on the side. So if they have curl, you could see that natural wave. And then just the asymmetrical feel that comes around the head just looks really great. So um, if you had a guess that were her hair curly, this is a perfect um, cut for that. Now we're going to throw some Bricado Actives and Mousse in there. Um, this is one of my favorite mousses ever because it just has such a good... Um, thickness to the mousse it doesn't feel watery at all and I feel like it stays in the hair really well and gives me a nice polish so we'll get those products in the hair brush them through and blow dry really fast so I think I'm going to put together another video you guys can let me know in the comments below if you'd like a video on the step-by-step -step of the blow dry um but I wasn't sure if you would love that, so I decided to take it out. We'll just speed it up through here um, so you can see the shape kind of appear, which I think is pretty cool. But if you guys want to see um, the blow dry step by step, I'll definitely put that video together as well. Um, going through with our Vibra Vibrastrate Iron, smoothing it out. And when you're smoothing the hair, just a quick tip is just you, you really just want to polish the ends and bevel the edges. Now I'm going to go through detailing. Um, I cut the entire haircut with my Z2 scissor um, because she's got a little bit thicker density hair. I wanted a scissor that had a lot of power. Um, this is the DB20. I go in with this one because it, it's my shorter scissor. It's a 5.7 inch and it's going to allow me to have a little more strength in the tip. Um, and a little more control and it's razor sharp. So um, when I wanna go in and define those edges, I could do that with the DB20 uh, really well and it gets into those tight spots. So just going through little by little cutting that line. I think a lot of people wanna go in with their big scissor right away and just cut it, but you have to do it little by little and, um, and that's gonna help define and draw your line in. So just keep working it, comb it again, Watch where the hair falls, then go in, use the tip of your scissor, cut your line again, and just keep going back and forth until that line falls exactly the way you want it. 
Now in the back, I'm going to elevate the hair vertically, um, pretty much like I did in the wet cut, but I would just want to go through make sure that I still over direct the hair uh, the way that it should be, but I'm just lightening it up with some point cutting through the back. Now connecting the back to the long side. So remember, all we did was elevated the hair so we didn't draw a line in the bottom. So I'm, I'm creating that line now. Um, again, just combing the hair down, working with the tip of the scissor to draw the line. There we go. And to connect the bang. So I took a piece from uh, the round graduation that we cut and I'm connecting that taking uh, diagonal forward sections through the fringe or bang area and uh, over directing them, elevating it to uh, diffuse it a little bit. And uh, you can see that connection works really well. Now we can comb it over. And that is pretty much the haircut. I wanna do one more thing. What I'm gonna do is take the top layer of the hair, which usually stacks up the heaviest, and I'm gonna hold it in my hand and just elevate my hand and clean up that edge. So it, when it falls, it falls nice and soft. And that's a really cool technique. You can do it in the back of the hair, the front of the hair, whatever you feel like. But it uh, works really well. And that's our end result. I hope you guys love this haircut. Please share it with all of your hairdresser friends. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And also, if you would like to see any other haircuts or anything else I can do for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.